Anyway, we got the 5.3 and the 6.0 we've been working on in past videos. We're going to be painting them today. Yes, yeah, so I hope you wanted a how-to of paint your motor with base coat cook coat because that's what you're getting. I then got a video on priming these engines and prepping them. Both videos in the description below. Check them out. Might be something you want to uh, look into. If your motor's done clean, you done got it primed, you don't have to watch those videos. Or if you didn't know what you're doing. But if you knew, check them out. So let's just jump into painting these bad boys. Yeah, bad boys. What you gonna do? The first thing you want to do is give your primer proper time to cure. We used etch primer on both these engines. It looks pretty darn good. What we're gonna do is take a red scotch, well, scuff pad. Don't know why I was gonna say scotch right, but a red scuff pad, you can get these at your automotive store. They come in big squares. Uh, two squares should do you. And you can see, you notice here, we scuffed the primer. And what we're doing is opening the pores of this etch primer up so it will accept the base coat and it will stick better. You want to always scuff your primer before spraying your base. So scuff it down and then we go to prepping the primer before we add paint because that's an important step. Once you're done scuffing your primer, it should look like this, kind of a faded look to it. Get you some spray away. You can use a just, you know, automotive grade uh, prep, you know, basically for paint prep. But spray away is pretty much great stuff. If you ain't got a lot of oil or grease on it that you need to clean back off, it works great. It actually don't, you know, it ain't as harsh on your paint as a regular prep would be so i always use spray away especially on plastic and engine blocks especially if it's clean all you have to do is just spray it down wipe it down with a clean rag make sure it's you know uh, lint free microfiber anything you want to use just make sure it don't leave a lot of lint and uh clean your engine about two or three times with a spray away and you should have it uh ready for base coat once it dries and once it dried off, take your blow nozzle and uh, blow off every little nook and cranny you can. Make sure it's extremely dry. You can see that one's still a little wet. I'm getting ready to pretty much blow it off and the air should take care of any more moisture spots that, you know, may not be dried up yet. And it removes the lint that you may have left, at least some of it. Once you get that done, you can take a tack cloth. That's something they sell at the automotive stores, you know, Advance Auto, anywhere like that. And it just, you know, tacks the paint off, picks up lint, picks up kind of dirt and stuff like that. You can use a tack cloth. I'm not going to be using one in this video because it's an engine. You know, it ain't no use me adding tack cloths to the added cost of painting this. You can if you want to. It's an extra step, but... It's up to you. I'm not going to. Also, you want to mask. It well, you don't want paint to get. You can scrape this off where the water pump goes. But these heads here, mask them the best you can. If you get any paint on the aluminum, well, you ain't scuffed it. Didn't use an etch. You can just use a scotch bright or something just to razor blade and just scrape the paint off of them. They clean up easy. You can mask your balancer. Hopefully, it's not on your engine. If it's not on, mask your crank, and you should be good to go. If it is on the engine, you can always paint it after you paint the motor, you know, a different color. If you get some overspray on it, it's not going to be the end of the world. Now, the base coat I will be using, I'll show you the quick coat I'm using once we get to that step. But this is a Martin Senior's can, but this is Omni that's in this can. We just had it mixed, and we had an old Martin Senior can we just used. Uh, that's the paint code. Just in case you need it, right there. And it's GM, it's, you can see right there's the color. Boom, it's got a few names. And uh, yeah, it's a little expensive. Uh, this quart, it mixes one to one, so you actually come up with two quarts. Uh, it takes about, you could probably paint an engine with a pint. Uh, but we painted three engines, so we bought a quart. It mixes two quarts. We used maybe a, uh, just a quarter of a quart so far. The reducer we're using is this, but what I'm getting back to is that for this quart, it was like $64. Depending on your area and your paint store, cost may be different, it just depends. But 
you probably could paint your engine as I said before with a pint and then get you some Medusa and maybe a quarter clear yeah you could probably do this for under a hundred bucks the cost is a bit higher but like I said we did three engines so let's just go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the color as we're mixing it so like I said about a quarter of a quart we used and uh that's been one engine that's been valve covers and the engine block and oil pan so a pint if you're just doing one engine will be plenty once you mix it to be a half quart so let's just oh that color is so pretty look you don't get that in a spray can you could go single stage with this too this is base clear uh since i was talking about single stage in a can uh single stage acrylic enamel you could which is actually kind of like a 2k anyway because you do got a hard enough got to go in it that gives it that extra durability you could use something like that in this color too i don't know what the cost would be i always go base quick coat and everything anymore this mix is one to one so on your mixing cup you basically want to find one to one which is here now how these mixing cups work if you fill up to the one here on the four you want to fill up to the four here on the one. That's one to one. If you fill up to the four here, that just added 15%. You know, that's in case you want to add reducer or anything. So, so I'm going to fill up all the way to the five because we're painting two motors. And it's probably going to be overkill. We're a little bit above the five mark, so we just come a little bit above the five mark on the other one section. So let's just fill this up. And you want to save some of this to clean your gun out with. I got enough to clean my gun. Just keep that in mind. So, now you want to mix it. And you get a strainer to catch a dirt that might be in it, um, hardened pigments. You know, you get clumps sometimes in paint, especially if it's set. Or especially the cheaper brands paint. Omni's not too bad about it. Wanda Base kind of is. Martin Senior, it's not too bad about it neither. Different paint mixes at different mix ratios too. As I said, this is a uh, one to one. That's what this Omni mixes to. So everything's mixed up good. We can add it to a gun and get to spraying. This is the first coat. You can see we do got some light spots in it, but the first coat is basically kind of a light mist coat. We're gonna do two coats on this engine. Once this gets done with it's about a 15 minute flash time, I'm gonna go with a heavy coat to get all the light places and good coverage. This one is looking good also, and the valve covers are looking just as good too. This is after the second coat of base, and it had 15 minutes flash time on the first coat before we applied the second coat. We're not worried about the harmonic bounce as we will be painting this separate and pretty well masking it off and just hitting it with some black, make it look all nice. We don't want it orange, you know, but it looks great. Let's take a look at the 6.0. This is the 6.0. It's looking great too. Two coats is what we used to paint both these motors and the valve covers. Oh, you all ain't seen the valve covers. Let's go take a look at them too. So the valve covers turned out great. Look at them. We got four lined up. And that's with two coats of base. And we're going to give this about a, I don't know, a 20 minute to 30 minute flash time. And then uh, we apply the clear coat. So while we're waiting, Let's go mix it, because I'm sure you want to see what kind I'm using, and you might want to see how I mix it. So I'm using Finish One SC720. If you watch a lot on my channel, I use this quite a bit, especially on cars, automotive stuff. Uh, we finish in like guitars, sometimes game consoles. If I want a good quick coat, I always go with this. It mixes four to one instead of one to one. This is the hard I'm using. It is quite you know not too hot here today so a medium hardener is fine they do sell us in a fast and a, a toned down version of this which if you spray in in uh, extremely hot temperatures is very good now on a mixing cup instead of one to one you want to come to the side that says four to one you can clean your cups out or use a new one and mix if you mix up to the five up we did on the omni you will need to bring it up to the one here on the four to one section and that you know basically is uh four to one parts but what i was saying before you can clean your cup out but what is the engines we're just gonna 
basically uh, pour what base we have left back into the can. And uh, we're going to add a clear coat directly to this, and it kind of tints it, and we'll give it an all-in-all -all deeper shine, a deeper look. It, but you can clean yours uh, cup out if you want to. I'm not. So let's go ahead and open this up. Just like so. Oops. And fill it up to the five. And tell you the truth, we're probably going to have a little bit too much clear. Probably. Just a little, guys. Just a little. Because clear coat goes ugh, on faster than base. And, uh, yeah, it covers better, too. Boom. Now you want to mix it. Take your paint stick. Make sure this is mixed up extremely good. You don't want to uh, not mix it up good because uh, then it won't harden right. So let's put a lead back on it. Sometimes these leads, it's a pain to get off and you just have to pull the whole thing off. Uh, try to get it off without doing that because this hardener will harden up on you if you ain't careful. Now, I'm just going to mix it up extremely good and then add it to my gun and uh, about two coats on each motor. But about 20 minute flash time in the between coats. Make sure your first coat is extremely light and not heavy because you will run this. Uh, the first coat acts as a tack coat. Once it gets kind of hard or smooth to your finger, you can apply your next coat. And that keeps it from sagging and running on you. So this is after the first coat. I basically sprayed it on extremely quick. I didn't stay in one spot. I didn't want to put it on too heavy. And uh, I'm waiting for it about 30 minute flash time. Or when I can take my finger and it's smooth and it's not too sticky. It ain't sticking to my finger, which is about ready. You see? As you can pretty well just touch it. and eh, it ain't ready yet. But once you can lightly glide your finger across of it, it's ready for another coat. And you don't have to worry as much about making your quick coat sag. Or you can just wait the 30 minute flash time, either one you want to do. The 6.0 is looking good. Just like the 5.3. And the valve covers has got one coat also on them. And we're waiting for that flash time to finish up. So next time you see them, we have two coats on them. And then we just have to wet them dry. Unmask them. And call it a day. So it's been about, I say, an hour after we sprayed the last second coat. We unmasked everything. And you can see the color is darkened up just a little. As that clear coat dries, it will change the color just a tad, just a shade. So it's something to be prepared for. And as you can see, it looks extremely good. Let's check the 6.0 out. The 6.0 looks just as good as the 5.3 that we're getting ready to uh, put in the Kamal. This 6.0 is actually going into a square body Chevy. So if you ain't seen that truck, it will be featured on the channel. But I do got videos of that truck. It's a C30. The valve covers also got two coats. They look extremely good. They're shiny. We're going to let them dry for a few hours. And then I'm going to put them up because it is outside. And you need at least four to five hours before you can handle this. Sometimes longer. Because if you mash hard, it will still implant after five hours. So, yeah, it's something to just know what the weather's going to be or paint inside somewhere like your garage or something just wear a mask you know you don't want to bleed these fumes so i hope you found this video helpful let me know in the comment section below uh did you use base coat and uh quick coat to paint your motor did you just use rattle can i enjoy hearing from everyone and i try to keep up with everybody's comments so if you're new get subscribed and if you already subscribed, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day and watching one of my videos. Thanks again.